All right, YouTube, today we're going to be going over the Major 4 CDL patch. This is the patch that we're going to be playing for uh, Major 4 and probably Champs. Usually uh, the last Major and Champs are on the same patch. So this is what we're going to be playing for uh, for the rest of the year, presumably. So uh, to go on into this patch, there are a few things that are you know fully directly related to CDL that we'll talk about. And the first is uh, decreased volume of footstep sounds from enemy players here. As you can see here, it looks like the design and audio teams uh, for Sledgehammer have in a decrease the volume of all footsteps, walk, sprint, and stack sprint uh, to encourage more diverse usage in the boots category of perks. So for them, it seemed that a lot of people were using covert, even though uh, there were decreased footstep sounds earlier in, in other patches, uh, but there still wasn't a, as much diversity in the boots category that they would like. So uh, in order to try and make it a little bit more diverse by letting you use something like lightweight or some of those other type of boots, uh, they're decreasing the footstep audio even more. So that's obviously a Always a W uh, to try and you know eliminate sound horning as much as possible. Uh, the next is a really big change for Six Star. Uh, obviously, there was a patch recently, I think like two weeks ago, changing Six Star completely, uh, all the hills. And honestly, we were you know never actually touched it or even played it because we were on that old patch in Major 3. So we were on uh, the original 6-star and it looks like they reworked everything for that uh, new 6-star. And so now it's back to the original hills with P1, P2, and P3 all being completely reverted to what they were before. And then there's a new P4. So rather it being uh, in the pit underneath the office, it's at uh, the what we call stage or the statue uh, right next to P1. So uh, the big thing here is obviously it's been completely reverted back to what it was before that uh, previous patch. But the big thing here is, is the new P4. So honestly, uh, it's going to be a really interesting change to see how it plays uh, with this new P4 because first it's only four hills. So obviously rip the pool hill 07, you know, Shark Sea, no more pool hill. Uh, but I don't mind this change. Like I, I think it would have been better if they just reverted everything and just kept it with the same P4. Uh, if they were going to take out that pool hill but you know honestly the pool hill was kind of uh, growing on me and growing out a lot of people maybe bias aside but this new p4 it's going to be over here uh, on the stage instead of the you know this old pit hill uh, i'm assuming it's going to play a lot like you know an a uh, an a retake or an a post plan if you're holding the hill so maybe like one guy curve a few guys on the stage uh, maybe one guy watching the water drop if they see pressure from this side and then maybe one guy in the office so i kind of playing like a line through that that hill similar to how you would you know in a post plant situation on this a site uh, so I would assume you know we haven't played it yet obviously this, this patch just came out this morning so we haven't scrimmed on it yet but I assume it's gonna be similar to spawns to what pool hill used to be or it's just kind of like outside spawns over here and race the hills kind of parallel to each other uh, so that's basically what I assume that the spawns will be we'll have to actually see once we start scrimming the game uh, but you know this this hill the only thing that I really uh, I'm unsure about is how close it is to this p1 so the rotation is going to be you know just a few steps away uh, so that's a, a really interesting uh, dynamic we're gonna see there with how close it is uh, but in overall like if they were going to take out the pool hill I think four hills was the sweet spot for this map I said it before. Um, honestly, I think you know reverting it back to what it was in, in the pit hill. I didn't mind the hill so much, but but we'll see how this this new one plays out. And you know, honestly, I do think it's a complete W from what it was in that previous patch when they completely changed six star. All right, so now we'll move on to the next big change: high rise environmental explosives are no longer present in CDL rank play modes. We've been asking for this forever. This is the probably the biggest W out of the entire patch notes, uh, simply because the the propanes and those gas explosions were just so so annoying on this map specifically in search and control so i'm glad they finally did something about it i was waiting for them to finally address it and they have you know right before major four right before champs so this is a huge w i'm pretty sure the actual propane tanks are already technically exploded and then the you know barrels and fire extinguishers are just not even present on the map anymore so it's not even like they're cosmetic uh you can mantle them and and just can't explode them they're just literally not even on the map anymore so honestly a big w high rise change this is going to make the map play a lot, a lot better in CDL. The next big change is the MCW increased head damage multiplier from 1.1 to 1.25. You guys remember when the headshot multiplier got decreased uh, in the previous patch, you know, probably two patches ago, and now it's been increased once again. So it isn't back to that original level. I believe it was 1.3 uh, at the beginning, but now it's going to allow you to four bullet with MCW once again. It's not just going to be one headshot anymore, though. It's going to be, you know, a minimum.
minimum of two headshots in order to get that four bullet on someone. So I think it's a W change. I didn't like that you could technically get four headshots on someone and still have it be a five shot kill. So them reverting it back to a four shot uh, kill with multiple headshots is, is a W in my opinion. I believe the Krig was like this back in Cold War. And then going on to the submachine guns, they also buff the rival. So they increase uh, the, the short distance range and they also increase the near medium uh, damage range. So both the, the short damage range and the medium damage range. This is a W2 because I think if they were going to increase or if they were going to buff the MCW specifically, I think buffing the rival was also a good move. You know, having those patches where you buff one of the guns and you don't buff the other one uh, really takes a toll on, you know, one set of players. So I think if you're going to touch one, you should touch both. Uh, and that's what they did here. So they buff both of the weapons I think this is a, a really good change to you know if you're going to change the MCW in the way you did definitely uh, have to buff the rival and I think that's a W change We'll move on to the kill streaks now. Uh, a big update to the cruise missile. It actually increased the explosive damage radius from 15.2 to 22.9. So this is a 50% increase in the damage radius, which I think is probably a W. We'll, we'll see how it is, uh, you know, when we, once we start scrimming it. But I, you know, maybe it's anecdotally, but it did seem a lot of times when people would call in streaks, uh, there was a chance for them to get two, and they would only get one. Uh, so you know, I think it's probably a W because in a lot of those cases, you would get a two piece with it with the range. Uh, so we'll see how that actually plays. You know, I'm still not 100% because I haven't seen it yet, but it sounds like it would be a, a W change to that kill streak. So overall, I think it's a W patch. It looks like they also added new maps in Tokyo and Paris. I think it might be too late for us to be including new maps, but that's you know, obviously not my decision. That's something uh, that would have to be on the CDO or the rep chat or whatever. But, you know, obviously Grime, Tokyo and Paris were all, you know, 6v6 maps that people have said have been possibly competitive. Uh, but, you know, I think at this point, it uh, might be too late to add new maps. And selfishly, I would, you know, would rather keep sub base in for as long as possible. Uh, but for the maps itself, you know, the big maps changes were that six star and high rise ones. And I think those were both W. So honestly, you know, a pretty W patch all along for this one. I'm really glad that they did something about that six star because I, I did think it was a good map, uh, you know, leading in to that major three and then having them change it in the last two weeks uh, really caught me off guard and a lot of people off guard. So, you know, if we we're going to, you know, update the pool hill, which I assume was going to be the case because a lot of people didn't like it. But even though, you know, it was growing on us, um, I think the best choice was to go to four hills. It's not like some, it's something so new, you know, slums and standoff both when, you know, Hardpoint was introduced and BO2 had four hills. Uh, there were a bunch of IW uh, maps with four hills. Um, Moscow had four hills. So it's not like some, something super new. Um, and I think it could be a sweet spot for this map. So we'll see how it actually plays out. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of the patch notes and how it really affects uh, the CDL going into major four, which we'll be playing on. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.